is the beautiful samples here for the Make Me Up Shape Shaker Kit. This is a fabulous kit. You get nine still dyes, 12 shaker and foam, and acetate pieces, and the most adorable stamp set with some fabulous sayings. I am gonna be doing the compact, but I also wanna show you some cards that uh, I've done in the past. These were designed by our designer, and then I added my own little twist, like the interactive makeup. And then of course you've got your mascara shaker. So this comes with the nail polish shaker, mascara shaker, lipstick shaker, as well as the compact, which I'm gonna create for you now. I'm gonna show you two different cards, and I'm gonna be using the Heartthrob paper pad. This paper pad is a lot of fun. There are beautiful patterns. I love the color palette. I know I've used it in the past. It really is fabulous. So I'm gonna do two cards. I'm gonna do more of an advanced card and a beginner card as well. So for a beginner card, I've just gone ahead and adhered from foundation dye number three, that foundation there. And this is just an A2 card base in black. So what I always recommend is like you can use this same foundation dye number three and either use another piece of white cardstock or another light color piece of paper and put it on the inside of your card so you have a place to write your beautiful message. I'm gonna start by creating our shaker here today. So I've gone ahead and taken a piece of silver mirrored cardstock and I'm going to remove the backing from my foam and I'm gonna layer that. So I am using the outline die. I push that down really well. And then I'm gonna pop out this foam piece here. And we can use that for a, another time to add a little dimension. I am now going to take this little piece here. To create this little blue piece, I just simply cut out a little piece of the blue uh, paper from your paper pad, ran that through your die cut machine, and then I kept that negative piece. So this is the decorative die that comes with the kit. And that is also what I cut out with the black here. So again, this is just the negative piece that comes out once you've cut out your decorative die. I'm gonna add a little sheer glue inside. And then I'm gonna take this blue piece and I am just gonna plop it right on top. Now I've got that blue paper back there and now I'm ready to fill my shaker. I'm gonna be using the metallic sea glass as well as the sparkle squares. And for the top part, for my mirror on my compact, I'm gonna take a scoop of my metallic sea glass because it looks really cool on the compact. I feel like I need just a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm gonna take some of my clear squares and just add a couple in there. And then for the bottom, I'm going to use the teal metallic sea glass and just drop a couple in there. And then I'm gonna be using the beautiful light blue sparkle squares. Again, just throw a couple in there as well. And now my shaker is ready to go. Just gonna make sure nothing is sticking up. Peel off that protective layer. Add on your piece of acetate. There we go. And now you have a cool shaker base for your compact. I'm gonna take my sheer glue and go all around where the foam is. Add a nice light thin layer. And then take the black decorative die right over top. And now I have my shaker compact ready to be here to the card. I'm gonna repeat this exact same design to create my pink shaker for my second card that I'm showing to you in this demo. So the only switch out is pink 
toppings instead of blue for the bottom part of our compact. Out of the fabulous foundation die number 13, I am gonna take the beautiful oval with the scalloped edges, and I'm just going to center that on my card front and lay that down. Once I have that complete, out of the white card stock from foundation die 13 as well, I cut out this piece, and then I'm gonna take the very cool, there's two different options in this kit for the stitched burst. I'm gonna take the larger one, run that through my die cut machine, and now I've got a really cool stitched patterned background. And I'm gonna go ahead and layer that on as well. And now I have a nice base for my compact. Next, what I'm gonna do is I am going to take the base here, and again, from foundation die number 13, and I stamped, life is beautiful because of you. And from our love foundation dies, and I'm just gonna add a little sheer glue, hover that over, add a little pressure, and trim the edges. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a little, little red liner tape, put that right down the center, and then I'm going to add some sheer glue as well. Is my card front so far. I like it because it really like creates a nice frame around your compact. Next, we're gonna add a couple little hearts. And because we have our shaker there, I'm gonna add some dimensions. So these were the pop-out pieces from the compact. There we go. And then it's fun because your shaker is a certain height. You can go big on the other dimensional items on your card front. So next, I'm just gonna add a little bit of bling. There is our really fun sh compact shaker. So to get started, I'm using a black A2 card base. And then from foundation die number three, I cut out this adorable heart paper. Now what you're gonna do is adhere these two together. Now that you've completed this step, you're gonna wanna open your card base. And then from foundation die number 13, I'm gonna center this, apply a little washi tape and run that through my die cut machine. Remember to run it through your die cut machine with your card open. All right, carefully remove your washi tape once you've run it through. And you have a nice cut out in the front of your card, which is gonna be the perfect window to place your shaker in. Next, what you're going to do is take, we're gonna put a frame around it. So I'm gonna take this really cute pink dots and run that through my die cut machine. Now to create the frame that's gonna be going around my cutout here, again from foundation die number 13, I went ahead and cut out this adorable scalloped oval. And now what I'm gonna do is center this piece here, add a little washi tape, and create my frame. Now that I have ran this through, I am gonna carefully remove my washi tape. I don't want to pull any of my paper off. And now I have a cool little frame that's gonna fit right over my cutout. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this. And now I have a nice little scalloped edge frame for the front of my card. For the inside, I am gonna take the scalloped oval. There are two starbursts in the foundation die number 13. And I went ahead and ran this through my die cut machine. I am using the larger one. This is the smaller one. And I first cut out my scalloped edge oval, and then I went ahead and ran this through my die cut machine afterwards. And it creates this really beautiful sunburst effect. And you could see when you put any of your shakers on it, it really calls attention like it's gleaming. Ah! 
Now you're gonna go ahead and adhere this to the inside. Make sure everything is covered up. And now I've got a great foundation. I went ahead and cut this out in white cardstock. This die is from foundation die number 13 as well. And I stamped, went ahead and adhered that to the bottom of my card. Next, I need to place my adorable shaker. So now we have our fabulous seam, our really cool compact shaker. And I'm gonna start with the inside of the card. So I'm just gonna place two little hearts. Obviously you can do a full border. You can skip the scalloped edge circle if you wanna have a large place, a larger place to write on. I am just gonna put a place for a to and a from. Because you know, this little card, card says it all, it says it all. All right, so I'm just gonna put this little heart up here so you can go to mom. And then, down here you can write, love your name. And then there is a nice little simple place to add your saying, and it's a cute little pop when you open the card. And then I'm gonna also add some of these hearts, and these are also from our Love Foundation die. And there you go. I'm gonna be adding some goosebumps and some rhinestones. And there we go, simple and sweet. There's a lot of fun happening in this card, so I didn't wanna to go too crazy with my bling. But there is your really fun, glamorous, compact shaker card. Thanks so much for watching.